Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the BMI 160 accelerometer and gyroscope module from Bosque. Similarly, this is the MPU 6050 gyroscope accelerometer module. Basically, both of these modules measure acceleration and gyroscope angular velocity. But still, there is a huge difference between them. While talking about the features, performance and accuracy, BMI 160 beats the MPU 6050. In this video, we will get to know about the BMI 160 astrometer gyroscope module from Bosque. Then we will do a detailed comparison between BMI 160 and MPU 6050. We have an Arduino Nano board, an ESP32 board, and a Raspberry Pi Pico board. First, we will interface the BMI 160 with Arduino. Then, we will write a basic C++ code to get the raw readings. In the second example, using some mathematical equations and calculations, we will convert the raw values into acceleration. In the third example, we will again use some mathematical equations to calculate the tilt angles. The tilt angles are called pitch, roll, and yaw. The same BMI 160 module can also be interfaced with the ESP32 microcontroller. The reading of raw values is similar to reading previous values from Arduino. The ESP32 along with BMI160 can measure acceleration as well. Similarly, it can also measure tilt angles in terms of pitch and roll. Finally, we have a Raspberry Pi Pico that supports MicroPython code. I have developed a fully functional MicroPython code to interface BMI 160 with Raspberry Pi Pico. The MicroPython code can give you the accelerometer and gyroscope readings in terms of acceleration and tilt angles. Watch this tutorial till the end to learn more about the BMI 160 accelerometer gyroscope module. Welcome back again. Now, let's see the BMI 160 module. The BMI 160 is a high performance, small and ultra low power 16 bit inertial measurement unit that combines a three axis astrometer and a three axis gyroscope in a single package. The chip operates at 1.71 to 3.6 volt, while the breakout board module operates between 3.2 volt to 6 volt. The power consumption of the module is very low to 900 microampere while operating in full operation mode. You can interface this module with any microcontroller using the I2C or SPI interface. The acceleration measuring range is from plus minus 2G to plus minus 16G. For the gyroscopic range, it can measure from plus minus 125 degree per seconds to plus minus 2000 degrees per seconds. The programmable frequency is between 25 Hz to 1600 Hz. Other features include 60 detection, 16 bit data output, and inbuilt 1024 byte FIFO. The sensor offers advanced features like motion detection, step counting, and gesture recognition, making it versatile for modern technology needs. Now, Let's compare the MPU 6050 and BMI 160 and understand how BMI 160 is better than MPU 6050. For the power consumption part, the MPU 6050 consumes 3.6 milliampere in full operation mode. The BMI 160 consumes 950 microampere, which is almost four times lower than MPU 6050. The FIFO buffer size for BMI160 is 1024, which is twice that of MPU6050. The MPU6050 has a 14-bit accelerometer resolution, whereas BMI160 has a 16-bit resolution. The gyroscope resolution for both of them is the same. While talking about the integrated features, MPU6050 just offers basic motion sensing, but BMI160 offers advanced features like gesture recognition, step counting, and motion interrupts. In terms of noise characteristics, the MPU6050 has higher noises for both accelerometer and gyroscope. The BMI160 has lower noise with better signal clarity. 
The MPU6050 only supports standard I2C communication protocol, but the BMI160 supports both I2C and high-speed SPI for demanding applications. The power mode has limited low power control options. But for the BMI160, there are multiple ultra low power mode options with the smaller one up to a 3 micro ampere. The voltage operating range for BMI160 is larger and wide compared to that of MPU6050. In MPU6050, the astrometer and gyroscope have separate data streams. But for BMI160, there is a combined seamless integration with synchronization. MPU6050 is only targeted for general purpose motion sensing, whereas BMI160 is targeted for applications such as optimized for mobile, wearables, AR, and IoT. That's all from the comparison part. Now, let's move to the practical part. We will now interface the BMI160 module with Arduino, ESP32, and Raspberry Pi Pico. First, let's check the Arduino board. Here is a simple diagram for interfacing. It's simply just an I2C connection. Here, we have connected the SA0 pin to ZND. Connecting SA0 to ZND sets the I2C address to 0 cross 68. I used a breadboard and a few jumper wires for connection. Let's see the code part now. There is a dedicated library written for the BMI160 module almost 8 years ago, which still works right now. You may check this library for all details. Add this library to your Arduino IDE. In this code, we are only reading the raw values of the accelerometer and gyroscope from the register address. The data is read and printed on the serial screen. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor. The serial monitor will show the raw data for acceleration and gyroscope from BMI160 module. The value shown here is when BMI160 is placed on a flat table and there is no movement or vibration. When the sensor is shaken, moved or tilted, there is a massive change in values. You may rotate or shake the BMI160 module to observe the change in the readings. Now, what if we want to measure the acceleration in all three axes? For this, I have developed another code here. I am not using any library here. In this code, the accelerometer is set to normal mode. The code performs auto calibration to reduce noise and errors. It calculates offsets for the accelerometer during calibration. After calibration, it reads raw accelerometer data from the X, Y, and Z axis. The raw values are converted to acceleration in meter per second square and displayed on the serial monitor. Raw values are converted to meter per second square using this formula. Upload this code now. After the code uploading is done, the device is ready for testing. When the device is at rest with no shaking or trembling movements, the acceleration in the X and Y axis is almost zero. The acceleration in the axis will be almost 9.8 due to the gravity. When you rotate, shake, tremble or move the BMI160 sensor, the acceleration value changes drastically. The reading changes are very quick and highly sensitive. As we measured the acceleration, now let's develop another code to measure the tilt angles. The tilt angles are called pitch, roll and yaw. But in this code, we are only measuring the pitch and roll. The yaw measurement requires a magnetometer. The angle of rotation around the x-axis is called a pitch which is calculated using this formula. Similarly, the angle of rotation around the y-axis is called a roll which is calculated using this formula. Finally, the pitch and roll values are printed to the serial monitor in degrees. Upload the above code to the Arduino board and then open the serial monitor. 
When the serial monitor is opened, the code initializes the BMI-160, performs calibration to calculate astrometer offsets, and then continuously prints the calculated pitch and roll angles in degrees. When the sensor is not moved or tilted, the pitch and roll angles are almost zero. Shake or tilt the BMI-160 module. You will observe the change in pitch and roll angles. All the values printed range from minus 180 to plus 180 degrees. That's all from the Arduino part to show you how you can use BMI-160 with Arduino. I have done the same hardware connection with ESP32. Instead of powering with 5 volt, I am powering the module with 3.3 volt. I am also using the default I2C pin here. The breadboard connection is simple as shown in this schematic. I am again using the same library and the same code. There are only some minor changes in the code part. Here are the raw data readings. Shaking, trembling or moving the sensor gives large variations in the values. I have also uploaded the same code for acceleration measurement. So, it's able to measure the acceleration perfectly as shown in here. The last thing in measuring the tilt angle in terms of pitch and roll. The same code worked again. The pitch and roll angles vary on BMI-160 movements. This is how you can use and test your BMI-160 module with ESP32. This is the Raspberry Pi Pico board. Let's interface the BMI-160 with the Pi Pico board. The connection is simple again. I used a breadboard to connect the board with the module. After the hardware connection is done, now let's write a MicroPython code to read the raw acceleration and gyroscope data from BMI-160 module and Pi Pico. This code measures acceleration in meter per second square and calculates tilt angles called pitch and roll. Auto calibration is performed to remove offsets. Accurate readings are printed continuously. Run the code. When the module is placed on a stable surface without any movements and vibrations, it gives the following results. The acceleration in the X and Y axis is zero, but in the Z axis, it shows 9.81. This is due to the gravitational pull of the earth. Similarly, Pitch and roll angles are almost zero. To observe the change in acceleration and tilt angles, shake or tremble the module. You will observe the massive change in acceleration and tilt angle readings. The tilt angle will only vary when the BMI-160 is rotated in all three different axes. That's all from the video part today. The complete details such as the schematic, source code, program, written tutorial and everything can be found on our website article. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again.